Let us sing to the Lord, for He has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my mind. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, they have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have a mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I will celebrate this Mass for the health and well being of Alison Dyer. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Get up and head south on the road that goes to Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch in the court official of Candace that was the queen of Ethiopia's in charge of their entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chair, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with the chariot. Belt ran to the and, and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what are you are reading? He replied, How can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to slaughter, and the lamb before the shearer is silent. So open not his mouth in his humble hum humiliation. Justice was denied him. Who will tell of his prophecy? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch asked Philip in reply, I beg you, what about whom is this prophet saying this? About himself or someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and began with the scripture passage and proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch looked there is water. What is preventing me my being baptism? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. Philip and the eunuch both went down to the, into the water, and he was baptized. 
Then they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azeroth and went about proclaiming the good news in all the towns of Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all who fear the Lord, while I declare that he was done for what he has done for me. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who infused me not by prayers for his kindness. Let, Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia. Ah, hallelujah. Discernment of God's will. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the witness of this parish community to the risen Christ may echo into our neighborhoods, schools, and workplaces, inviting others to believe the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the health and well-being of Alice and I, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, as you hear and answer our prayers, grant us the grace to endure all that comes to us in this life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread it throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace, peace. Lamb 
of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have a mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have a mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So please have a seat. Now we'll have reflection. Good morning. Good morning. I started out look, reading the gospel and the thing that came out was, They shall be taught by God. This is a reference to the Old Testament. Jeremiah 31, 33. This is the covenant which I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, the Lord says the Lord, I will put my law within them and I'll write upon their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people. It also relates to Isaiah 54, 13. 
All your sons shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the prophecy of your sons. Now, he also talks about the manna. Israel's were, the Israelites were in the desert, complained to Moses that they didn't have anything to eat. So God gave them manna. Israel learned to pick it up what they needed for that day. If they picked up more, it was spoiled. But then on the sixth day, they told them to pick up what they needed to pick up for two days so they could rest on the seventh. This was teaching them to keep the Lord's day holy. Now, following, we are following God of Israel, the laws in, a, are in their hearts. We are now on day 50 of this pandemic. We need to only take what we need. Yes, toilet paper will not spoil. God will provide. The stores are recovering their stock. We'll need to follow laws given in this time of pandemic with Christian morals. We shall not steal and we shall not kill. Yes, going out will probably kill someone if you think about it. We need to follow God's laws, welcome Jesus into our hearts. Jesus, the gospel, is talking to a large group of people. He knew of the manna in the desert. The Israelites died. He, he told them, telling them, he is the living bread. We all know today what Jesus was talking about to the people. He was also giving them a hint of what was going to happen. The crowds did not understand what Jesus was talking about the living bread. As Paul Harvey would say, now for the rest of the story. If you read to the end of the chapter 6 of John, John's going to tell you what's going to happen to him. The crowds leave him because they were taking him literally. Yes, cannibalism. We now, now many people take for granted the Eucharist. In this pandemic, we know that you are missing going to communion. We believe in our hearts that God, to, and follow God's law, keeping our neighborhoods safe in this epidemic. We have the spiritual communion. We, because we believe Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Please stand. The Lord will be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected men. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of standing the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and the O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan, 
and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a wonderful and blessed day.